Now making contours and contour cutting and printing and you know, doing print and cut from Sign Lab is uh, pretty straightforward. I'm not a Sign Lab expert uh, by any means, but I'll tell you it, they make it an easy thing to do and understand. Let me let me give you an example. Let's start with our text over here. I just typed in some normal text here, and I'm going to go to a cut menu where they have contour cut. Now just choose contour cut here and what will happen is it basically automatically uh, places a contour cut right around my text here. Very straightforward, that purplish line there. You can choose the color right here if you want to choose a different color. And it's very straightforward. You can see here that uh, vectors has been chosen. Uh, I can choose also the amount of uh, width uh, that I want on this particular contour at this point right here. Uh, and a lot of helpful things happen here that make it easy to do. Now once that's on there you can just click off the screen and it's applied. Very quick and very easy. But what about the bitmap? Again we have white over here. Now normally if I choose cut and then contour cut it's going to place just a rectangular frame around there and that's what this means right here. If I just want a, a bitmap frame uh, square, kind of like a decal cut, I can actually turn that on. If I turn that off however uh, what it's going to do is when I click apply and this is the width I'm looking for same as the width over here when I click apply uh, a menu is going to pop up here that says monochrome filter and it gives me my trace setup so basically what's happening here is is it's looking for the edge of the graphic it's going to ignore the white part of the bitmap and it's looking for the edge and you have several choices here that you can make and this is appropriate one logo with lines and curves nothing complex about it click OK on that and basically it uh, scans the image, uh, traces it and it's going to lay that contour cut right around the edges of there. That's pretty straightforward, wouldn't you say? That is pretty easy to do. Uh, that, that, that just shows me that you can you can move this around by the way any place you need to. If you need to move it here or there just, just pick it up and move it. But the idea is it's very straightforward and that's a, that's a good thing. It makes it easy to use. It makes it uh, very visible as far as seeing where those contour cuts go and so forth. And remember you can always undo things here if you need to, to to move it around. And it does a good job of finding the edges of your graphic here. Now once you have these uh, contours laid out we got to actually uh, cut and print them. So this icon actually is used for cut and print. Uh, or I want to show you something here before we get to that point. Let's go to the file menu and instead of print and cut, let's do the print and cut setup wizard. This is fantastic. Just click right here and it's going to guide you through a set of questions that will let you set up your machinery to make it work uh, very well together. So let's see what we get here. Let's go ahead and click right on next here. Uh, what printer do you want to use? We're going to use our uh, Falcon Outdoor Junior this time or pick or set up a new one, whatever you'd like to do. You click Next again. You can choose your media. Uh, let's say we're going to use some 3M IJ180 uh, or let's just use uh, normal settings here. You can see it's just kind of guiding me through. Uh, in this case I'm not going to change anything but if you wanted to modify dry times or change bidirectional, change the cutter settings, you could do so here next again it'll go to the next menu this is the size of the media and how you want it to to print you know rotation landscape so forth and then this is the printer that you uh, use now you can click on cutter setup here and it will allow you to set up different tool options if need be uh, we're going to use the reg marker tool here you can you can overcut you can add uh, change this uh, pressure of the blade and so forth very important uh, to do here very nicely done. There's of course plotter options and so forth too. We're not going to change anything in this case. Click next to go to the next menu and we're going to assign the type markers that we want. This one we're just going to do two. It's a fairly short cut so we're going to do the type two. Now remember we can do segmented if it's very long and so forth. We're just going to do type two at this point. Click next. And then it gives you a review of all the printers that you have available to you here. We hit finish and we basically set it up for our cut and print. Now when we click cut print right here, just click on that button, it's going to transfer that job to a uh, cut print menu for some last review. Notice the markers are set up, the contours are here, it's pretty much ready to go. You can also see here the printer, the Falcon Outdoors being used, my graph tech is being used. It gives me the tool I want to use. Uh, whether I need to do duplicates uh, is up to me. Again, you've got a really nice uh, 
way here to set this up and preview it prior to sending it to your, your printer. So here you can just uh, print only or you can do print and cut. Let's do print and cut. When you click on that, it actually takes your job and it's going to transfer that to the uh, production manual uh, manager, the visual production manager. Now, uh, just, just as a, a side note here, uh, what you're going to see in this menu is uh, the actual job. And you can see here it's generating a, a preview for me right here. Jobs on hold. And let me tell you something. It, it, what will happen is, is that you see all these little markers in here. That's not going to actually happen in your full-blown product. I'm using a demo copy, so that's what they do to uh, show you how to use the product uh, to get used to it. Uh, you can download the product uh, from CADLINK, uh, who's the maker of this product, and uh, kind of uh, work around with it and play with it a little bit to see if you want to use it or not. But that's a great, uh, great feature. And you notice here, uh, when I double-click on the job, I can even uh, set up some more settings here for my printer, for instance. Uh, do I want to add crop marks? Do I want to add some options? I can change all of those right here in a very easy to use menu. Very nicely done. Get my general settings there. I can rename the job if you want to, so forth. Nicely done there. When I get ready to cut, I go to my jobs over here and I can just print the job or I can cut the job. So if I click on cut, you'll notice it activates my uh, my cut menu and in this case it would have actually sent that cut job out. I've got it to save as a file. I'm not going to do that. Uh, or I could just actually go in here and say I want to actually print the job. So you can print it uh, and then it'll uh, pull back into the uh, stationary front part and then you can, you know, the front part of the vinyl. Uh, you hit cut and it's going to actually line up the uh, uh, knife blade with the uh, markers on the edge like we had, the type 2 markers, and uh, do a contour cut. Very straightforward capability that you find here. Uh, very easily done. I'm going to close this queue up and uh, we're going to close this one and then we can go back and start designing again and uh, doing what we need to do to get the contour cut done. Very straightforward. I think it's a great product and I know you'll enjoy it with your new FC8000.